Okay. So, hi. I'm Rebecca. I'm from Edmonton, Canada. Um, I have a Hager's trunk box that I'm going to unbox. Uh, I ordered this and then as soon as I received it, I got a letter like the next day saying that they're not doing the subscriptions anymore, which sucks, but they've completely rebranded and are now called Advanced Potions. Uh, they do sell quite a few of what they would put in their boxes on their website. So anything that you see in this box, a lot of it can be uh, bought separately on their website. You just have to buy it individually. It doesn't come as like a subscription. Um, these guys are out of the UK and they're fantastic. I've had, I've watched tons of unboxings. So here's mine. Um, okay, so this is the box and it's super cute. Kind of looks like a little trunk. Got nothing on the, on the bottom there, but super cute. And then uh, full disclosure, I did open this before, but just wanted to do unboxing for everybody else. So that's what you get. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so here's the spoiler card. We'll put that away, but it says deer, so it comes like this. This is just the front. Super cute. Hollow foil. I like it a lot. Uh, okay, so it says, Dear Witch or Wizard, we hope you enjoyed our magical theme of traveling across the wizarding world for the month of April. And then it says what their month of May is, which is not going to happen, which is unfortunate because it is uh, based around the life of Cerberus Snape, because Cerberus did die May 8th, 1998, I believe was the Battle of Hogwarts. Anyway, my lore is not the greatest. Okay, so first thing you see when you pull out of the box is this amazing t-shirt. Super cute. It's a little wrinkly because it's been in there. I'm in Canada and they're traveling. It's coming from the UK, so it's a long way to go. But. And it's their own t-shirt company from what I can see. It's a really nice t-shirt and you get cool hollow foil. And then it says, uh, all aboard the Hogwarts Express. Uh, and then at the bottom it says London to Hogwarts. The very bottom, which is super cute. And then you have the Express. I'm usually not a huge fan of like super graphic t-shirts, I'm more of an all over print kind of person. Um, but we'll see, for a Harry Potter shirt I might give her a shot. If not, I'm not adverse to doing some t-shirt cutting to get this kind of a shoulder or something like that to kind of make it mine, even though I know it's an expensive shirt. I'd, ra I'd rather wear a shirt that I would wear often than have a shirt that's just going to sit in my closet. Otherwise I'll just gift it away. Next thing we have is this really cool night bus conductor badge um the uh ticket it comes on is quite damaged as you can see but that's to be expected but it did pretty i mean it's too bad wish that uh we get a different one but super cute and then on the back it just says night bus over and over and over again which is really nice um i'm also not a huge patch person but i might just put this up in a shelf somewhere in my house. Let's see how that goes. Next up, we've got a whole bunch of like those, as Peter calls them, schnigglies. I don't know if you watch him, but Potter Collector is probably the best one on YouTube for Potter Collector YouTube videos and unboxings and such. And that's where I learned about Hagrid's Trunk for the first time. So check him out if you don't know about him. Um, and this is really cool. I love pins. I'm a huge pin person. I'm also a Disney fan, so I collect a lot of Disney pins. but. This is my first really cool Harry Potter pin. It's called the Flying Anglia, for the Flying Anglia, obviously from the Chamber of Secrets. And it has a cool silver hollow foil thing there. And it's made out of resource, responsibly sourced wood, which is really cool. And it's got a really nice pin back on it. And I love the card. Um, I love the Anglia. Chamber of Secrets, not my favorite book in the series, but I do love, I remember, specifically I remember going to the movie theater and loving that whole scene with the Whomping Willow and the Anglia. I felt really bad for the car the whole time. <laughs> First time you ever really feel real emotions for a vehicle. I'm not into a vehicle type person, but the Anglia was definitely like, oh no, don't hit it so hard, it's nice, it's a nice car. And we're like when it comes out at the end and uh, when they're going to see the Into the Forest to meet Aragog comes out and saves them so it's a nice little I'm slowly going through the books with my daughter she's only eight months old she has no concept of really what I'm talking about but 
doing it anyway because I'm a nerd. <laughs> okay, next up, oh, this is super pretty, I love this, is this beautiful candle. Looks like the Triwizard Cup. It's got a really nice dragon on top. And it's got a really cool, one of those really awesome wicks in there that apparently crackle and stuff. I'm not a huge candle person, but I might give this one a try. And it's got really nice glitter on it, and it's got a really nice silver string tied around it. it smells like blueberries. Or like Hubble Bubble gum from when I, I remember when I was a kid. This is what Hubble Bubble reminds me of. Or reminds me of the Hubble Bubble uh, gum. It's really good. So that's super nice. And then I think the last thing, yeah, which I was so excited about, and this is probably the only reason I actually did Hagger's Trunk is because of this, um, is this amazing. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> It's flu powder, because you can't get across the Wizarding World without a little bit of flu powder. I would have I would have preferred like a broomstick, but that's okay. That would have been my flight of choice. If I couldn't operate. Because uh, operating sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's got this beautiful... Um, everything's handmade by them, which is amazing. Um, it's got this amazing seal on there. It says flu powder transports people to a predetermined destination. Uh, best before 1999, so definitely expired because it is quite a bit, uh, few years after that. And then on the top there, it says G2.00, which is two galleons. I don't know my wizard to muggle currency exchange, but. And then on the back, it says property of Arthur Weasley. So this is cool. This is the one that would have been in the house. The one that Harry probably would have used instead of Diagonal Lily. <laughs> it ended up in Nocturne Alley instead. Anyway, and it's got this really cool, really pretty wax on top that drips down onto the sides. And then the black string around it. And it's got this really cool, just green sand that goes throughout it. And the beautiful, beautiful label. <coughs> so, yeah, that is the box. Um, from what I remember, it's been a while since I since I actually ordered the box. It was, I think, came out to about twenty seven pounds before tax. Um, in total, with shipping, it, it was about fifty three Canadian, fifty four Canadian. Um, so not too bad for what you got. Like I am more than happy to pay. F I would have paid fifty dollars just for the flu powder. So. I know Advanced Potions still has all of their potions on there, you, they also have a Patreon now and everything, so uh, if I had the extra bit of money, I would definitely go over there and be a patron to, because apparently they, when you're, uh, they have, their different levels are like Muggle, Half-Blood, and, and Pure Blood, which is really cool. Uh, I would try to go for the Pure Blood and get that 20% that off the entire website, plus you get a uh, premium potion that's only exclusive to that tier of patrons so that'd be super cool and then they've got a bunch of mini potions now and a whole bunch of other stuff um but yeah so i'm sad that the subscription boxes aren't existing anymore but i can still order them it, uh the potions and stuff to fill out my collection because that's what i'd like to do but i will check out now we'll go through this uh so a list of what we received in our april haggard's trunk um the flu powder potion uh, travel by fireplace across the wizarding world with this nifty little potion. Just remember to clearly pronounce your destination. The port key candle, uh, designed to look like the famous port key, the Triwizard Cup. Watch you don't get teleported to the Dark Lord. That would suck. Um, Hogwarts Express t-shirt here. Uh, one of the most famous ways of traveling in the wizarding world, at least to Hogwarts. Uh, uh, travel in style and treat yourself to something from the trolley witch. Anything from the trolley, dear. <laughs> and then the night bus conductor patch, this guy. Um, beautifully designed by Wizarding Workshop on YouTube. I've checked out his YouTube stuff. His stuff is amazing. His paperwork and his, oh, I'm just in awe of his creative ability. Uh, this amazing patch will make you the next conductor on the night bus which would be super cool and would be the only way I'd want to travel from one place to another in the Wizarding World. It'd be amazing. Um, 
and then of course, the last but not least, the Ford Flying Anglia pin. Flying Flight Anglia was a popular choice in the Wizarding World. Remember to press the invisibility booster button so you can't be seen by the muggles, because that would be the worst. Um, okay, so that was that. Um, thanks for coming to my channel. Subscribe. I know I don't have a lot of followers yet, but we'll see. This is my very first video. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of other things uh, to do. I've got some pins that I ordered, or from an I won from an auction, as well as I'm also going to be posting some like Disney stuff on here too, because uh, I'm not just a fan of Harry Potter, even though I am a diehard Ravenclaw. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in the next video, and comment, subscribe, and like. Thanks!